Hiya! Oh, yeah. So, we're back at Luna, and we're going to continue the stuff that we started the other day. I don't know uh, when I'm going to be finished editing and uh, uh, putting it on YouTube. Uh, so, this could be next day, this could be whatever. Who cares? Keep going, Jay! Don't talk about the, about the back-end stuff, just work. Okay, so, I've decided that I am going to change um, the landing pad. I want to future-proof it as much as possible without going nuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the landing pad five wide. Um, so hopefully that'll cover most, if not all, of the um, traders that they may add in the future. I doubt very much they're going to have like uh, crafts that are that will need a you know, a, a, a 7 or a 9 or a 10 wide landing area. But some of them may need a 3, some of them may need a 4, some of them may need a 5. So I'm going to go with 5, uh, because that sort of fits how we've been designing the, the base. So the, the hallway is 4 wide, um, this will be 5 wide, and then we'll have a 6th row for equipment. Perfect. Uh, I've also decided that I'm going to have it land this way. So when the craft comes down, the trader will come out and the trader will face will be standing on that square like this, facing this way. And I'm going to have a door here. I am also going to have a set of doors on one side of the other. Probably that side. And it's going to be all the doors, you know, in a row. It's going to be from one side of the of the um, of the pad to the other. And then this side will be equipment and bullcrap like that. And then the uh, hallway will wrap around it, whatever. Now, for length, that was harder for me to decide. Because should I double the length? Because maybe they, they, will, they will put in traders that will land and have... and require like 10 squares in length. I don't think that's likely... But I also don't link, think that a craft that's five wide is also going to be five long. So I think I'm going to sort of go in the middle a little and say eight. So it's going to be five wide and eight long. That's my decision. I am sticking to it. First, though, I do believe that we need steel for the landing pads. Uh, we do have some steel... Uh, some some uh, steel sheets here, but I think that we need steel for the actual uh, landing pad uh, kit. And we do. We do need steel for the landing pad kit, and uh, I don't think we have any steel at all. I think we have two steel, and that might be it. Light on. Silver. Steel ingot, we got four steel. So we don't have enough steel to do... Nothing. We couldn't even make a toothpick and pick our teeth with it. So, we're need to going to get um, our steel production. We're going to get a little bit of steel out of that production. I think I am going to settle for non-insulated pipes for now. Because it won't matter if we're cooling the gas. Um, the um, whatever we, we're going to keep uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide will be the two main things that we keep and the other stuff we can try warming up again when we uh, super need it so let's find where we're keeping the doodads are you a doodad? you are a doodad and we have 14 doodads there so we'll say that's good and let's go there now we have a path for the Stuff we want to save to go. I'm going to get a thing of a blobber right there. Oh no, you don't fall down. There, cool. Okay, now we got this up. Let's turn you on and make sure that this is filling with CO2. And it is, and it's not losing very much heat, so. That's good. Okay, so back over here, we've pretty much got everything we're going to get out of these, out of that uh, furnace. 
because uh, now we're at like the lowest levels. So we're gonna stuff, we're going to stuff everything in here. Okay, close the door. Okay, now are they losing more temperature inside? Not really. Uh, but we're gaining a lot more temperature. Bring it up to 30, and hopefully those uh, radiators outside will do a job of getting rid of it. Oh, the fern plant has really grown. Tomato seed and... Okay, yeah, there we go. Buffalo! Uh, we might have a little bit of food sooner or later. There. There we go. Those pieces in here, we're going to have the carbon dioxide filter, and then we're going to see how fast this is cooling. Not at all. How fast is this cooling? Not at all. Good. And we just need to wire this thing up. Get some light on the subject, which I don't know. I'm just guessing, but I think it has to do with the with the art world. When you're saying putting light on the subject, they're probably actually talking about putting light on an actor or something. We got so we still got 200 uh, degrees to go. So let's go over and start dismantling the uh, landing pad. Okay, and well, we'll put these right there for now. So how does it... Do I do that? Do I do that? Okay, there we go. Uh, put those here, and then we will grab a vent. Put the vent here. And the reason I need the vent is so that I can read the temperature from outside. And it is 27 degrees in there, so I don't have to panic. We're getting there. We are getting there. Very, very, very slowly. We're only losing 13 joules of energy out of there, so that is not a hell of a lot. I think probably we are in, like, 10 to the 5th joule of energy, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. I don't want to calculate it. Nobody wants to calculate it. Okay, so we got the first set down here. And this will kind of be the outline. And I've uh, changed it so that it's like a square instead of like the cross-sectional thing, because that didn't look so good. And I think I'm going to have... F uh, what am I going to have? I'm going to have... If I make it seven, no, I want to make it eight. So let's put one extra one in the back. So we're going to have three in the front and four in the back. So that's, that's still eight. One, two, three, middle, one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. That's what we're going to do. But we need our steel production. Uh, we need steel to actually get that done. There. We didn't do exactly what I wanted to do, but that's fine. We're still sucking out some pretty hot um, contents here. Uh, 940 Kelvin, uh, which is an amount of uh, Celsius that I can't really think off the top of my head. 663. So, yeah, that'll cool that off some. Too bad, too bad, too bad. And I think I'll just leave like that for now. That's pretty hot, though. So, what is the least? It is cooling. Where, uh, it's probably just cooling from, you know, 
some kind of ambient level that they've programmed into the furnace to do no matter what. Uh, but our base is probably pretty cold now too because we've been neglecting it. And we have. There. A kilogram of half of steel. Uh, we don't really need more solar panels. What we need is more of these guys. So we have the five across here. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five. I think we need ten more. Let's take... Where do I put the steel? Oh, the steel's in my hand. We'll take the steel here. And we'll put it into this printer. And we'll start printing. And that's just going to spit on the ground, but that's fine. Is this a seed yet? Yes, we got a seed. Uh, where's the potato seed? There we go. We'll also grab both the plants. We'll plant a new seed down. Got plenty of water. And our headlight went off. And we have some baked potato. down here. Actually, we're hungry, so let's eat some baked potato. We're also eventually going to have to start on our utility trench here, which is going to carry all the cables, wires, and everything from one area to another. And it's going to be these two, um, these two cells here. So all of these uh, frames are going to be pulled up. Um, the ground is going to be dug out directly underneath it. And then the frames are going to be put back in one cell lower. And then this will be covered with walkway or something. I'll figure something out. So now we're going to have to clean out some toxins and stuff. But we can still use the same, um, the same scrubber. We just have to empty it out first. And, and this is our new hole down here for our uh, pipe chase, utility trench, whatever you want to call it. There, our pipe chase is getting cleaned out. I think that's as far as we... Oh, we I think we can go... No, we can't go one more over. Uh, and we can't go one more over this way either. Jetpack. So, we will just... Uh, sit down like that. Uh, I have to go underneath these uh, panels as well, but we can do that later. Uh, I wonder if these panels are um, airtight. No. They're not. I don't know. There isn't a, like a master list of airtight, so I really don't know what is what is and is not airtight. There. So, we're going to need a bunch of steel um frames. So that'll be the first thing we're going to print out. Steel in here? We have one gram of steel in here. Great. Where's the rest of the steel? Really? I only have one gram of steel in here? One kilogram of steel. Duh. Okay, so we need steel framey frames. There we go. We've got 30 uh, steel frames. Now we're going to need some um, iron sheets to finish off the stuff outside. And a full stack of uh, iron sheets. Now we need a full stack of steel sheets. So we need 40... 32. And a full stack of steel sheets. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. And we've been continuing to try to suck out uh, the nitrous oxide, but it's not going very well. That's because I put the wrong filter in there, isn't it? There, now we should actually be working on nitrous oxide. Super dumb. Super dumb. There, now we've completely cleaned our atmosphere. We'll put our 
Turn our suit back on. Turn our light off. Put our lid back on. Oxygen low. Light on. And now we will take this and uh, go backwards. Go backwards into the airlock. Close it. You are a dick. Get over here. No, no, stop! Stop being! Grab you. Pull you all the way out over here. Turn you backwards and turn you on. And that will get rid of... Why do you have carbon dioxide inside you? It doesn't super matter. Actually, it's got oxygen in there too? Why do you have oxygen? It doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that really matters is we're going to get rid of all of the um, poisonous stuff. Which we did. Now let's put it back in the airlock. Let's put it back in the goddamn airlock. There we go. And we'll pull the nitrogen, the nitrous, replace it with oxygen again. I think that's in the right position. down. Strap, whoops. Strap it in. And turn it back on. There. Perfect. So this will be where the hallway comes out. Oops, not there. And so the hallway will be too wide at this point. Now, not only will it be too wide coming out, it's going to be too wide going down the hall. Okay, we've run out of uh, material for now. And we've uh, we've got most of the stuff covered under there, under here. There is one frame right here that I couldn't really get to, but we'll get to that at some other point. And... Uh, we finished the hall on this side, so we're just going to have to extend this out to wrap around the rest of the uh, landing pad. And then we're going to have to print out more landing pads and so forth. Okay, right, there we go. I just made a bunch of stuff for outside, uh, and I ran a bunch of um, water pipe down here. This is going to be our main water line. It's going to be uh, atmospheric temperature. It's going to be our main... Um, thermal regulator. And we'll go outside, because we don't... We also need to make solder at some point. Probably soon. Because the, um... Uh, that thing's going to be at the proper temperature soon. I think it has to be between... 150 and 200 degrees, something like that. Okay, it's ingesting the lead... It is taking up temperature, but it's not generating any more pressure, so it has been outgassed uh, as a, as an ingot. Now to put iron down its belly. Ah, there we go. Now we got two whole things of solder. Well, not whole things, but partial things of solder. Let's continue on with this uh, building here. No, I'm out of fuel once again. Uh, let me sigh. I am trying to decide whether or not I want to go out and mine, which I don't really want to do. I hate mining in this game. I didn't need to do that. So I'm guessing I'm just going to go hunt out hunting for uh, ore, because, whoa. Yep, yeah, that's just what's going to happen. Okay, an ore ring we will go. It's good that there's still ore sitting around from the explosion. Here we are. We've got a bunch of ice here. Now let's... Oh, <laughs> I started off not being able to find uh, volatiles, but now I have lots of volatiles. So let's... Uh, melt the nitrice first. 
So now we have to bleed off some oxygen and volatiles. Now, how am I going to do that without being all stupid about it? Okay, so now we have the jury rigged um, a atmospheric unit there. And we'll need a carbon and an oxygen and maybe a nitrogen filter. Okay, and then we'll put the carbon dioxide. Come on, let me through. And the oxygen. And we'll turn this on. Can I make the arc, the other uh, welder on here, the arc welder? Oh, I can make an arc welder. Oh, I need electrium. Uh, electrium is one of the one not so hard ones to do with gold and silver. So I can do that next. Once I figure out what I'm going to do with this damn thing. Uh, eh, um, hmm. Temporarily put a small storage thing down here. Super. Now I can remove this temporarily up here uh, because I will just want it to go straight into the tank. There. No! Why do you make me want to go outside, you stupid, stupid thing? I don't even want to go outside in real life. Oh, I hate everybody. Man, I have to get dressed for two seconds. It's like taking the garbage out. Nobody wants to take the garbage out. You gotta get your stuff on, you gotta get your shoes on, you gotta wear pants. Who wants to wear pants? It's a form of, of torture. I remember when I was, I guess in my early to mid 20s, I saw this uh, this condo that was being built. So the plans for the condo. And uh, the garbage chute was in the apartment. Okay, and since this thing is prob- Oh, it, oh, it will let me, yay, it'll let me. Oh, I'm so happy. Happiness is me! Uh, we'll do that. And then we'll wire it up. There. Now I'm gonna need the actual IC. God damn it, I need Electrium! Okay, I'll need the computer as well. Oh, uh, here's the computer. Computer will just shove right here for now. And the chip programmer. Now, is this continuing to fill? It is. There's probably a dick ton in there that's got to be siphoned off. So that's going to take a long, long time. I also need to start charging my batteries up because I have let them go down. Okay, so silver. Where is silver? That's not silver. Silver. And how much gold do we have? We have... Okay, good. We have... We have enough of both. Oh, well, we have more than enough of both. So, throw the gold over there. We'll throw the silver over there. Turn... Turn that off. Okay, so, we have 300... Oh, uh, let's put this over here. Uh, 302 silver. So we'll want 302 gold. Power low. Might be a little too low, but we can inject. Because we are lower. Actually, maybe we can't inject. No, we can't. It's got to be under 2 millipascals. So uh, we'll just do something. Else. There we go. Uh, so that's uh, 412 Kelvin. 
Ooh, nowhere near where it's uh, where it's supposed to be. So there's still quite a bit of carbon dioxide and oxygen in there. Temps are still a little high, and I'm not really comfortable with it. Um, let me get the oxygen back out of here. Because I will need the O2 tank filled up eventually. Oh. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. You know what? I'm reaching. Hunger caution. Yeah, hunger can wait. I think that's the right way. That's still nice and warm. There's still a lot of carbon dioxide in there. The tons. Let's see what we can do about expanding outwards a bit, because this here is probably going to be fine. The problem is, is that I I don't think I can put a... Uh, where is it? There we go. Now, if I turn this this way, I can't put it there. No, I can't. So when I change it, I'm either going to have to remove these and put temporary panels there, or something else. Well, I don't know what else. Nope, that is not the way I want it. No, 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 no. You can so go to hell. How dare you try to kill me? You stupid window. Knew you were up to your old tricks, window. Okay, so this goes down like that. And it is the wrong direction. So I need to do this. And that should be the right direction. Please be the right direction. Please be the right direction. Please. 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 Oh, thank you. Jesus, I almost actually just cried right there. You should probably edit that out, you know. Don't admit to, like, crying just because, uh, the window's not pointing in the right direction. As I've said many times before, past me and current me have an antagonistic relationship. So fuck you, it stays in. Everything is right with the world. Where is my... That tank there we will go in here. And we'll put a zero back pressure in there. And then we will open up our thingy, and we will put a whole 50... Oops, not yet. Turn this on first, and then put a whole 50 in there. It's also increasing the temperature. Nicely. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put this in here. Turn this on. And hope to hell it doesn't blow. Okay, it's going to have too much oxygen in it, but... Whatever. And then we'll just use those and put in more um, hydrocarbons later. Nothing like placing things down blind. Okay, so we don't have enough steel uh, sheets uh, for the whole thing, but eh, what are you going to do? Pop the waste tank and make more steel sheets. I'm not talking, because I don't know if I'm going to keep this bit. This might be a stupid bit.
Okay, it looks like I didn't need to not talk in that bit, because it seems to have worked. I am going to put this on over here. And we'll lock this down, like so. And then we will put a normal pipe here. And then we'll just pump. We, we won't. We don't need a thingy. Um, a, a pressure regulator, because it is very unlikely that we're going to overwhelm um, the um, the tank there. The, the large tank. Where is the backpack? There it is. And I'm just going to chew up as much of that um, volatile as possible. Moderately. And thriving. Oh, I already got three tomatoes. Cool. I'm going to need a, um, a simple packing plant. Or packing thing. And did I save my... Light on. Cans. I didn't save my cans. That was stupid of me. So stupid of me. Um, so soup is going to be harder. Why didn't I save my cans? Oh, the cans might have gotten blown up. Oh. Okay, let's make a basic packing machine. Because we will need it. There we go. We got everything for it. There we go. And we're probably going to have to make a bunch of cans, too. Can I make a can in here? Yeah, I can make a can in here. Because the tomatoes are about to come up. And once these finish, I'm going to try to get a, a tomatoes in here. Ooh, there we go. There's a canner. Does the canner go in here? I think it does. It does. I don't know how to work it, though. Eh. Better. Not great, but better. And that's a little lower, so I'm a little... I feel a little better. There's still a lot out there. But uh, there's nothing much we can do about it right now. Is that giving me seeds yet? Not yet. Is that growing? That's growing. Um, Let's finish that off out there before we decide what we're going to do next. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean, I mean he's mean, you know what I say, damn mean. Okay, so each of these needs a pump, one liquid pump and one gas pump, volume pump. Oop. Uh, so that's what we're going to have, and we need five more of these things, so we're going to get that done right now. And we need gold, and we used up all our gold to not make electrium because electrium is sitting out there not doing nothing joined at the hip pain hunger and i leave a gift to the world neath the phosphorus sky a labor of love is the truest of all but will i be forsaken after the fall there, finished. The landing pad is complete. Now, I don't know if that'll land that way or that way. We'll have to change that around. So this side is going to have all the doors. Uh, and there will be one door here. And we will uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, how we put this down, so let's clean up this a little bit. There we go. I haven't really decided which windows I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the scrap steel windows. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, but I don't like the way most of the other windows look, so I might not use them at all. There we go. Tomatoes are... Oh, we got a seed, we got a seed, we got a seed. Uh, let's take that seed up, and tomato, and we'll grab the two plants, one more, 
And that uh, jumps down to a smaller plant. Now we're going to grab cans and figure out how to use this thing. Uh, okay, I can put the can in there. Seven cans. Uh, I'll put that up here. Okay, can in there. No. This device accepts cooked items. So... Is this how you do it? Ah, uh, where's my soup can, you bastard? Soup. Tomato soup. Okay, so, uh... Cooked tomatoes, empty can, and a basic... It doesn't say... Fuck, I need five. I ruined them. Ah. Oh. Okay, that was my fault. It said it there and I didn't see it. But, why did you have to work? Why did you steal it? Why didn't you say no, go away? You bastard. <laughs> this is going to take forever to grow again. Oh. Dick liquor. Total freaking... I could have eaten that, you shit! Ah, fuck. Now I have to eat... ...cooked tomatoes, which sounds disgusting. You know what? I'm done with you today. Go to hell. I'll see you next time. And yes, of course, I'm gonna finish cooking the tomatoes before I leave, because I'm not actually rage-quitting. But I am pissed off. An old man lying by the side of the road with the daylight in his eyes. Blue moon sinking from the weight of the load. And the building scraped the sky. Don't let it bring you down. It's only castles burning. Find someone who's turning. Air tank low. Then you will come round. With a low air tank and die from suffocation. So, I did a little bit of late rage building. This is the trench for the uh, landing pad. And here's the landing pad, including uh, the completed walls, the wraparound walls, and the uh, side door, I guess you could call it. Uh, two rear doors, and the front door is going to be over here. Maybe two front doors. I haven't really decided yet. Um, and another side door. Right now, none of that is functional. And that sheet right there uh, marks a boundary. So if I put like that. See? Marks a boundary. And I am low on everything, so I gotta get the hell out of here. There we go. And on the inside, I ended up using the uh, just the normal scrap panel uh, windows, but I painted them white so they look similar. Uh, these ones have panels in front of it so that not a lot of light gets through. Almost at eye level. Not quite at eye level. Uh, we still have our are some of our plants over here. And uh, uh, this is the other side of the trench. The trench is going to go underneath the landing pad, but 
the landing pad has a um um it's not it's not airtight. The landing pad is not airtight. That's what I'm trying to say. The landing pad is not airtight. So meh. I put uh, orange walls to show that uh don't remove that uh other side is um danger, caution, whatever. I might put um a label there or something and this is a insulated pipe. There'll be insulated pipes on the other side too, uh which I haven't uh which I haven't put through yet. Um, all of my batteries are dead. Because I've been going at it for a while now. I've used up all of my resources. And I really ain't got nothing left. And I still need more. Still need more of pretty much everything. I managed to make one soup can out of there. Um, I didn't really record that. I... And we also have ferns growing in the hydroponic um, garden, uh, controlled by my uh, hydro control script. And let's open this up. We'll put, we'll bring more um, hot carbon dioxide in to keep the temperature balanced back up at uh, well close to 30 degrees. And the thing with this is, is that it's got to go all the way around out here to the other side, uh, which is why we will need to make uh, insulated pipe. I did get the electrium done. It was almost finished. Anyways, when I paused the recording and uh, managed not to unpause for some stupid reason, Okay, that should be enough for now, and I'm going to paint these pipes yellow for now. Uh, simply because this is going to be a low pressure line, and I can't think of uh, another color besides yellow to, to uh, print it, because that's supposed to be the yellow supposed to be suction. This I hate. I can't get rid of this this little piece right here. Yeah, I guess I can clip do it. No, I can't clip do it. Yeah, I can't get I can't get rid of that little amount right on the side right there, and I can't open these up to get at it, so that's just kind of stuck right there. Oh, I'm getting a little bit more off, but not as much as I would like. Whatever. So this yellow line is a suction line. Um, yellow is for vacuum. I don't know what the color is for a low pressure line. I think it's yellow as well, well, because that's just suction slash vacuum. Um, so this line will go from one side uh, to the other uh, uh, to the, the wrong place. Just a second. And basically what it has to do, this is where it's supposed to be, and what it does is it just is at a slightly lower pressure than the ambient air so that it's constantly pulling in a little bit of ambient air from the central core and everything that's uh, connected uh, into this and then that will give us that will give us constant airflow and then the 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 fresh water or not fresh water the fresh um, atmospheric line will come in to uh, replenish what has been removed so that will take away carbon dioxide or any kind of trace elements there still might be a little bit um, left in the rooms and the atmosphere, but um, that's sort of a price we have to pay. And maybe I could just walk around with a scrubber every now and then, getting rid of it. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get more, and I'm gonna finish this line. I also put in this warming tank while I was rage building, uh, so that the uh, nitrogen, nitrous oxide, oxygen, or volatiles, whatever I'm pumping into this into this tank here, I can bring up to that ambient temperature. That's been warming for a while now. It may take a couple more days to reach that temperature, and then I can inject it in. And basically what that will allow me to do is not lose any thermal energy uh, from heating up the gas as it's in injecting. This, uh, the game doesn't seem to model that real well and it seems like you lose a whole lot more um, 
energy energy than expected to the point where a combustion chamber will be stifled by the temperature of the input gases resulting in an overall suppression of the output gases temperature to about 1400 to 1600 degrees celsius i will just take some of them from here right now and not let it finish and we'll go to this side of the base where we can remove this cover plate uh, with the with that for some reason and we can put in the uninsulated version of the pipe and have a vent on this side then do the same on this side and I'll end it right there just so I know what the hell is going on and what the hell is going on okay there we go so I think on that note, oh look, these things clicked off. Cool, they're already fully grown too. Um, um, I guess uh, there's one thing I should show you. Uh, the last thing is this area here. So uh, these squares are just, you know, to walk on. They're just girders or whatever you want to call them. And this area will be a room with an airlock going in uh, that away. So we're going to have to move some of this equipment. Same thing on this side. This is going to be another room. Now this one, I have already decided, is going to be the hydroponics bay. This side over here, I think this side is going to be um, the large dump tank. The large, large holding well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill straight down. And then I'm going to pump all of my waste gases uh, into this um, well and maybe set up some control stations and things around the well um, to hold all of my uh, my waste. Now, I'm not going to like pump it up to obscene amounts. It's not going to be block storage. Um, I am I'm going to put in like uh, a proper. Uh, what the hell are those things called? It's like a pressure re release diaphragm. I'll use one of the um, um, one of the walls with lower um, with a lower pressure rating and put it down at the bottom or something. So if the pressure inside the tank uh, gets too high, that wall will collapse and then it'll go up a channel in the back and go whoosh with all of the uh, gas that's in there so that it doesn't rupture the um, the doors going down into the tank. So that's my plan for uh, for that there. And there'll be more of these rooms that way and that way on the other side that will do different things. Like there will be one room for mining and there'll be another room for um, probably sorting and then there'll be another room for um, dealing with... Critical dealing with the gases and separating them and cooling them down there'll be a um there'll be a room that's dedicated to heating gases up one uh, room to dedicate to cooling gases down so on and so forth and um that will be the overall design of the base uh, i'm not sure which every room what every room is going to be i am I'm not working to a plan here. I'm just sort of uh, going off the top of my head. I am also going to have something special cooked up for these doors. And um, I hope they don't make these airtight in the future. I hope they don't make the landing pads t airtight in the future because it makes it really convenient to put vents underneath the, um, the landing pad to suck out all of the atmosphere. If they were just around the side, that would be a total pain in the ass. But because they're going to be underneath the, um, the, the, the landing pad, I could probably take the entire bay down very quickly. And there are um, three space doors. Like, there's doors that are three wide. So that will work in there uh, very nicely. And I guess that's it. So, um... And see you later. Bye. Abiento. Have a good day. Uh, so long. Toodaloo.
Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm actually being really dumb right now. But I'm totally not embarrassing myself.